a good time to start making some preparations for a vacation. When you can't take a vacation, the best thing you can do is plan one. And I know a lot of you are going to be planning one to the happiest place on earth. So what we're going to look at today is making an autograph and photograph book to take with us on our trip. I'm going to use this machine. It's called a Zutter. Z-U-T-T-E-R. It is just a binding mechanism. There are several out there. Cinch is another brand. But I looked up and I found this one on Facebook Market for $15. It doesn't have all of the parts, but thanks to YouTube, I figured out how to work around that. So that is the main thing we're going to use on our project today. We're using it to punch our holes for our project and to bind them. The binding wires come in a pack like this. This is the brand name Zutter. Got them on Amazon, half inch wire. I got the antique brass. They also sell white and I think black and maybe a few other colors. But Zutter binding wires. This wire, you take it out and I think we're going to use about six holes. So we will count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I will use my wire snips to cut it in between. And then this piece of wire will do about three or four autograph books. So that's pretty neat. You don't have to waste any of it. You just use it when you do another autograph book. If you have a lot of kids, it's a lot cheaper to make your own. Or maybe you have nieces and nephews who are going on the trip. And you can make your own and save a lot of money. And they can be just as cute. I use my cutter when I don't have the size I need for my board. And I just simply place it in my cutter. And let's say I have decided to do a 4 by 6 piece. So I put it in my cutter at 4 inches. Sometimes you have to play with it because this is heavy weight. I suppose it's a medium weight actually, but it is heavy. And cut it in your cutter. And then I turn it over because the blade won't go deep enough. And cut it again. And that's pretty much all you have to do to cut a custom size. So now we have it at four and we want it to be six wide. Turn it over. This piece is 12 inches long, so I will get two pieces out of this, which will do one book. You can also order on Amazon the pieces already cut, which is what I did. So I have them readily, easily available, ready to go. Also with the paper, you can take cardstock and cut it to the 4 by 6 size, if that's what you would like to do for the inside of your book. Or you can buy plain index cards, four by six, and use those in your book. And you don't have to do any special cuts. I got lazy and that's when I decided I would order my pre-made chipboard and my unlined index cards, both in the four by six size. The next step we're going to do is decide how many pages we want to go in our autograph book. I usually put about 30. I make a decorative cover. That's coming. And a decorative back. I put some cute pages in between these pages. When I take, oh, three or four at the time. I'm going to show you how I use my Zutter. And again, it doesn't have to be a Zutter. You can use any kind of binding system you have. Look on um, Facebook Market and you might find 
one at a deal like I did. But you place it in between these two arrows. I always line it up with this little mechanism on the left. The lever. And then, before I forget, pull out the back. And that helps anchor it so you can get a lot of muscle in there. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn it sideways. Kind of hold that in place. And pull the lever down. And it makes a nice set of holes. Let's do that again. And then I will go off camera and punch the rest. So I have three. You can do quite a few at a time. But I'm doing it at a weird angle, so I'm just doing three. And down. All right. And there's our holes. It also does this chipboard nicely. Slide it over. Kind of anchor it with your hand over here. Pull it down. Oh, look at there. That's great. Let's do another one. One's our front. One is our back. That's the only chipboard we need for this project. And ever so often you want to clean out this bottom part. Here it is. And get all your little cuttings out of there. All right, I'm going to chop the rest of these and I'll be right back. This is one of the paper pads I'm going to be working with today and using possibly in my autograph books. This one is Safe for Cheese. It came from Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99, but I used a coupon and got it 40% off. has 48 sheets in it. These are all single-sided. Beautiful paper. That's some of our choices. I have another one from Hobby Lobby. This one was only $9.99, and it is double-sided. It only has 36 sheets, but when you think about it, if you can use both sides, 36 double is like 72, right? And these are really cute. These make good pages in between your white pages. So I love how that looks. When I cover my front, I try to use the single-sided because we're going to put tape on the back. So that's why I have those also. And I probably bought them at different times. This is a page of stickers that came with some pretty paper that was from Echo Park. I got it at Tuesday morning. I only have a few sheets of it left. I didn't have the whole collection together or I would show you the collection. But these are some of the cute stickers we'll use on our plain pages. And I just love these. Just love them. So I've started gathering some of the papers I want to go in my book. And I cut them at 4 by 6 these are some of the inside pages I'm going to use that are decorative already. You have the castle here, some polka dots on the back, a mouse, both mouse, I guess that would be mice, some stripes, and those are the ones that will go in between some of my blank pages. I also found some cut-aparts that came with both of the collections. I don't have them divided out because I cut them out a long time ago. You have a lot of different cute prints. They came in the 12 by 12 sheet and I just cut them out. That's cute. The backs are decorated also. These are all two-sided. These are called cut-aparts. And these are all in the smaller size. Some of these we can use on our pages to decorate them farther. And then it also comes with these big 4 by 6 sheets. These are one-sided. This is another one of those. I like this one. But all of my books go sideways, so I don't typically use this one unless I cut them apart. And I could use a hole punch and cut them out that way and make it more interesting. Also, it came with some of these smaller cut aparts and these are great for the inside pages. They're two-sided as well. So all of them have the music notes on the back side and the front side was actually these, but you could use the music notes too. 
and these will make great fillers for our white pages. And then I also have a hole punch that I got when it was on sale. And it has the mouse head on it. And I just cut out a few in black and I'll use those throughout our book as well. So for the front of my book, I picked out this page which says, Hello Magic. It was already framed in a four by six. I just cut the whole page out. It's white on the back, which doesn't matter because I'm going to glue it down to my front cover. And I'm going to use this side for my back cover. It is two-sided, but I didn't like this sheet of paper anyway. So this is going to be the back front cover. How do we do that? Well, we're going to use a couple of adhesives. Let's take that front and put it down for now. I have some half inch tape. That one I believe was three eighths. And I'm going to put double sided tape around all four sides. I believe this tape came from Tuesday morning. You want to get it lined up as best you can because once you put it down, it's stuck. <laughs> I decided I would cut it this time and get it closer to the edge. And I did go a little over, but that's no big deal. We'll just trim that up. All right, and one more. Okay, and the next thing I like to do in the middle, you do want quite a bit of tape because you don't want it pulling up. Um, I like to use my ATG gun by Scotch and put some tape in here. You have to be sort of generous. You don't have to go crazy, but you do need to be kind of generous. I'm going to put one down the middle, too. And then to remove it, I like to use some kind of pokey tool. This happens to be the one from my Cricut. Not the one that came with it, because I think I've owned a few since I actually got my Cricut. And if you just reach under there and pull that tape back, it comes right up. Let me get the other three sides. Okay, so I have the tape put on the back front cover and on the piece I want to use for my front cover. So I'm going to just line this up as best I can. It's not absolutely 100% perfect, but you can always trim off a little bit if you need to. I'm using my scraper just to make sure that tape rather sticks well. That seems to be good. Now let's do the back. If it has a pattern, like for instance, if you're using these numbers, you need to be really careful about which way you turn it. I always have my front like this and flip it over the way it would be in the book when I cinch it. This one wouldn't matter anyway because it's not a specific pattern, it's a random pattern. I think I did a better job that time. I haven't made one of these in a while, but you know, we're all going to be thinking about vacation soon. It's always good to have your own autograph book because they're pretty expensive at Disney World. So you can save some of that money and you'll be ready when you walk in. You won't have to stand in a line to buy one. So I always turn my zutter to the left. I do that every time. It's just a force of habit to me. The front facing. Put my book in. Slide it all the way to the edge. And make my chomps. And you may have to work on it a little bit. Because this is very thick now. Because it has the chipboard. But it also has two pieces of cardstock, basically. So there we have our front. Now we'll do the same thing to our back and get that ready. 
I'll remind you of what it looks like. I'm going to go in and put tape on it, just like I did the other one. So this is my front cover. There's the inside of the front. This is my back cover. I thought I had it on camera where I put this one together, but I apologize, something happened to the footage. But this will be our back, and that will make our book, just like so. And I think I actually reversed these from what I originally intended, but I thought that this and this had similar colors and it would look really cute. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And now we want to put in some white paper. I'm going to start with this cute paper and then my 10 sheets, four by six, another one, another 10 sheets, another cute sheet that's double-sided, and 10 more sheets. So we have 30 white sheets plus our colored sheets in between. And then this will be our last page. And what we're going to do is take these and put them together like so. We have our wire and we're going to thread the wire through But you want to make sure before you bind it, I just wanted to show you that going through, you actually flip the front one on top of, I'm sorry, slip, flip the back one on top of the front. And that is so it will hide the wire once you attach it together. All right, so let's put that back. So let's take back out our zutter. We have our wire threaded through the book. And we're going to place it down perpendicular into our zutter, leaning it towards the front here. Line it up as best you can. Mainly, you just want to make sure the loops are in there. And then you want to pull down your wire handle that pushes your wire. And there you have your book together. Flip this back around and see everything's hidden. You, all you see is pretty loops. So that's how our book looks so far. You open it up and you've got pretty paper, got unlined paper so they can write their autographs, more color. Well, that's not all we're going to do to this book. You can also decorate some of the white pages. I just come in here kind of random, pick me some pages. And I could put some of the Mickey heads on. I could put those on every page and not have a lot invested in this book. I can put in some of my small cards. Maybe a special page for the head mouse. And we definitely want a mouse head on that one. So I'll come in here, put a few things. I'm just going to use either the tape I showed you earlier or this art glitter glue, which is awesome. Dries clear, good hold, permanent. Love this. And I'll show you my final product. This was a lot of fun to put together, by the way. So guys, there's my finished project. I have the front, it says Hello Magic. Just need to adjust it a little bit. Um, and there's the front cover course. I skipped a page. This is one of the pages I decorated. Just has a little Mickey head and the M. Here I did like a two page spread. There I used uh, one of the cut aparts and I mounted it on some red paper so it would have a nice frame around it. Put another little Mickey head. You can't have too many little Mickey heads. And this was some of my leftover red. And I just added some heads. And here's a page where I had Mouse and Me. And I also mount, uh, put it on another sheet of paper so it would have a nice frame around it. Have some Mickey heads. And I thought this would be cute when you come home to put a picture in of your child with the mouse. I thought that would be cute. So you can do things like that. You can use this as an autograph book, but you can also use it to put your pictures in in your memories as long as you use PhotoSafe products. And these are that I have put in my book. And another thing you can do is give the kids some stickers. 
You can get these inexpensively a lot of times at Five Below and uh, Walmart or even um, the Dollar Tree sometimes. And so you can give them their own stickers and they can go in and decorate their um, pages. When I give them as a gift, I like to take clear bags, put them in a clear bag, put some stickers in there, put a marker for the autographs they're going to get. And it's just a lot of fun. They have it in their little, you can make a little pack so they're ready for their trip. Add some cute t-shirts that match. There are so many things you can do. But it's great to have one of these done ahead of time. It didn't cost very much to do. You can make several for just a few dollars. Whereas if you buy one there, it's going to cost probably $20. Don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. I haven't been in a while. But when all of this is over, I'm sure everybody's going to be ready to plan a trip. Guys, I've enjoyed spending some time with you today. I would like you to share with our friends or give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. And I hope you'll become a subscriber if you're not. And also, we have a Facebook group called Crafting Cousins Crafty Corner. There's a lot of sweet people on there, and they share their projects with us. You have a great day, guys. Bye. Hey, y'all. I'm Trish with Crafting Cousins Create. Kay and I really are first cousins and we work together on our channels. We just launched this channel and we are so excited because we both love creating with paper and we hope that you will join us. We also love a good giveaway. So we thought the best way to launch our new channel was to give away a beginner paper crafting kit. Once we reach 500 subscribers, we will draw from the names in the comments below and give away our kit. So make sure that you leave a comment so that we will know you have subscribed. YouTube doesn't always let us know who has subscribed. So this is the only way that we know that it's fair to be able to give it away. So let's see what we have in the kit. The first thing we have is some double-sided tape. You'll find that you use this a lot in your paper crafts. Some pop dot tape. This just gives you a more 3D effect. We have the thin, the medium, and the wide. We have some laser tape, which is like your washi tape. This is just used for decorating. An embossing tool. You just run this over your paper and it makes indentions in it and it makes it really pretty. A piercing and scoring tool. You'll find that you will use this in all different kinds of ways. Some baker's twine in different colors. We have the red and white, light blue and white, and the dark blue and white. I love using this as embellishments. Speaking of embellishments, I robbed my stash and I pulled 10 paper flowers or embellishment flowers that you can use in your projects. We also have a little bag of these gems. They're flat back gems. You can glue them onto cards, journals, embellishments, all kinds of things, and it just gives it a little bit of bling. I also got a pack of glitter, and I know a lot of people don't like glitter, but I love putting glitter in my projects and giving them a little bit of bling. These are the small packs, and it goes from white to silver. It's got a bronze color all the way down to black. And I did get a pack of these little storage containers so that once you open the pack, you can pour it in here and keep it so that hopefully it won't spill out on you. We have a pack of colored pencils. I love using colored pencils to do lettering or to color in stamps if you're doing stamping. These come in handy for a lot of different reasons. We also have a pack of the Jewel Border Sticks. These are so pretty to use to embellish any of your projects with. And a pack of 3D stickers. I love these stickers. I actually wanted to keep these for myself. This was the only pack I found and I went to four different Dollar Trees. So I'm gonna give it up and let you guys have it. Now, it wouldn't be a paper channel without paper you know you're going to have to have paper to do any kind of projects that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be including some of that. We have five sheets of this small paper. I think it's like five by five or six by six. It's not very big, but it's really pretty. We also have five sheets of this eight by eight scrapbook paper, and it is double sided. So you have a choice of which side you want to use. And it is more of the Tim Holtz line, 
which is a little more rustic. I love this line. We are going to be giving you 25 sheets of cardstock in different colors. We have the creams, we have some browns, reds, blues, all the way down to your whites. Um, cardstocks are great to use in different projects, especially cards, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to give you lots of reasons to use your cardstock. And speaking of cardstock, I'm going to be giving you 25 sheets of 110 pound cardstock. Now, this is a really heavy weight. It's actually considered the extra heavy weight, and this is what you're going to want to use for the base of your cards. And we're going to be giving away 35 sheets of scrapbook paper in the 12 by 12. Some of it is double sided, some of it is single sided. Back at the back, we have some that is glittered and it's a little bit heavier. There are some really nice sheets in here, and we know that you'll find something that you'll like working with. Now, our favorite tool that we're going to be giving away is by We Are Memory Keepers. I love this. It is a scoring board, and it also is a paper trimmer, all in one. I wish they would have had two of these, but they didn't. They only had the one, so I'm going to be giving it to you guys. And it does open up and become a full-size board. It folds here on the side, and when you open it up, you have a huge 12 by 12 um paper scoring board and you also have the big paper trimmer where you can stick your whole sheets of scrapbook paper in there and trim it down and we are memory keepers is a great brand so i know you're going to love this tool and that's our paper crafting kit we're really excited about everything that's in there. I think it would be a good starting point for anyone who is just starting out with paper crafts. So make sure you comment below so that you're eligible to win. We will be releasing paper crafting videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we hope that you'll join us then. Sometimes it's going to be tools, tips, and tricks where Kay will go over different tools that you can use in your paper crafting. Sometimes she's going to be making journals and interactive mini albums, all kinds of little notebooks that you're going to love to be able to make. And my part of it is going to be beginner cards, note cards, paper embellishments, and tags. I'm going to be showing you how you can make those kind of items with a minimum amount of tools and a minimum amount of cost. So make sure that you join us. Please like and share and help us get this channel up to 500 subscribers so that we can give this away really quickly. Thank you all for your support. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. Bye, y'all.